Yes, it's about uh, shark hunting. But uh, in the spirit of this conference, I can assure you that no shark was heard during the preparation of this presentation, nor any tree chopped. First of all, I'm from Authentics. I suppose many of you may not be familiar with it, but this is the company that stands behind the fraud prevention. Under those names, Google, PayPal, Uber, Airbnb, Coinbase, etc. It is doing something that's mandated by KYC regulation, anti-fraud regulations. So regulated companies mu must do that. We do it in a different way, but here I want to touch something more specific. The way right now your bank accounts, your money transfer, your gaming, your gambling, your crypto, whatever, everything that's regulated is being protected from identity fraud is by services provided by many vendors that are using a nice app that takes a picture of your ID and your face, sometimes also your POA, proof of address document, like bank statement, utility bill. The document is identified being OCR'd, so content is extracted, and then it's being checked, checked for forgery. Usually it would be checked in reality, what you don't see, in a back office by a human. So let's see how those things work, because you remember, eventually, the images of your, of your ID are landing on someone's screen, usually in Eastern Europe, in India, in Latin America, in places where the workforce is a bit more cheap. So suppose this lands on your back office. I think the chances of discovering that this is actually a fake are quite good. In this case, by the way, these are real. I blur them, obviously, for privacy reasons, but they are real, actually came from the market. You can see that the image is actually put on the document. It's not the right thing. What about this? If this lens, if you are an, an officer, a KYC officer, what are the chances of this being stopped? The answer is a bit more sophisticated, because you can see the number on the top is actually written on top of the actual numbers over there. These are not the right fonts. If you're really trained, you'll discover it. What about this? Is this fake or real? Basically, there is no reason to stop it. It's totally good. You don't see any cut paste. You don't see anything odd. You don't see any font that doesn't belong there, especially if you're trained. But this came along these three, which, as you can see, are the exact same picture. You, you see the brown table it's on. You can see the, the same angle. You can even see the reflection on the uh, left-hand side of each one of them. And on each one, you can obviously see are different faces and different personal details. Each one individually would not be stopped by any service existing on the market today because there's no reason. They look good. Welcome to Shark Territory. The point I'm making is very simple, and I'm presenting to you one of the tools we are using, which basically should be making you worried because the technologies that now are protecting your finances are based on something you can see on a picture when actually fraudsters make wonderful fakes that are not seen. This is a fast forward of a video I took out of YouTube. It's actually a training video made of, by one of the providers of editors of templates you can buy on the internet, 25 to 55 dollars, depending on the quality you want and which document. On it, you would probably be putting genuine stolen personal data. There's no point in making up personal data because it's being checked. Everyone knows it. And it doesn't contain any cut paste. This is a layered editor, usually Photoshop, where you, on the, on the basis of it, you put all the data, then you clean around the face because most of these now have, don't have the square picture of the face. And on top of it will be all the security features you want. The end effect is a picture there is no reason to stop. There is no conventional way to stop. But we found a way to actually do it. 
and it's in a way breaking the mold of how things are being done now. This is an actual catch, okay? Which came along all of these, which as you can see is the same face, right? Same document or same picture, same face. But the personal data is different. So when it's passed one by one, today, tomorrow, the next day, each one will pass because it looks good. Since the name is different, there is no reason to suspect them. These are different people, and tomorrow there'll be one other team member looking at it. In this case, there is a combination. Different faces on the same document, different data on them. Once again, each one individually will pass. Here, well, you can see it. If I put them one by, by the other, you can see it's the same black table with the same reflection, with the same picture, just different details, different faces on them. These pass any scrutiny of any conventional system like butter because individually they look good. So let me introduce you to uh, what we call the mafia attack, which is basically professionals who are making a living out of it. And these are the ones who are actually compromising your money in the bank or your bank or your money transfer service or your payment service, etc. So the system today, or the systems that exist on the market today, are actually catching sardines. Those that are doing one-off account openings, or a couple of them, not many, they will many times do types of manipulations that you can see with your own eyes. So if someone is actually alert, they will see it. The data usually is not synthetic, although I read about synthetic data. But if the data doesn't match a database, the person doesn't exist. So when you're being stung, it's not that critical as the sharks, the professional mafia systematic fraud. You remember there is a template there. So there is no manipulated images created from scratch exactly like your government did it. Usually they don't do it once. They make a living out of it. So we are starting to catch, using this tool, hundreds, sometimes thousands of accounts being opened, sometimes simultaneously, sometimes in different countries, by such professionals. These, by the way, are genuine pictures of one of the attacks that we caught. And this creates an interesting situation, because potentially, if you are a financial service and you're regulated, probably you already have inside the Trojan horses. Someone already opened an account, there's no reason not to do that. You don't even know until they activate it. So this technology, unlike the normal way case by case are being screened, actually can look back and see what you already have inside all those Trojan, Trojans waiting. We call that service instinct. It's a development of our company. It's unique in the world. And the moment it was launched, it kept me worried because I understood how much fraud actually is in there that no one even knows. Usually, if you ask people in the industry, they will tell you that fraud is 1%, 2%, depending on the market, depending on the case, on the industry, etc. It's much more. We just don't know it because there wasn't a tool to actually find it out. So the idea is very simple. Now, when you have a bank account or you have a Google account, a PayPal account, etc., they the, the cases are checked individually, one by one. When you have this system, it does not just look at the individual case. It looks at all the traffic that it has seen during the service. And only then, when the similarities don't make sense, the irregularities are, you remember, the same picture. Everything can be on it. The face, the data can be different, but it's the same picture, right? Only then can you discover it. This is a dashboard that we actually created that shows you even which are the most popular faked, popularly faked documents. And interestingly, here you have a couple of techniques that are, we are checking for. When you change the techniques, you, know, you see that the type of fakes in the US are different from the Europe, which are different from India, which are different from Africa, which are different from other places. As if different places in the world have their own style on how to do that, and it has, by the way, also to do with what kind of tools they have in different parts of the world. What I did here is one of 675 catches. I just put them one on top of the other just to make a point. It's exactly the same, just with those differences. 
that only such a system can detect, which is why it actually won prizes and becomes very popular among at least our clients, and I think we underprice it. But I know it's not about trees. There are sharks, but these are basically fraud sharks in there. And even when money is collected or some of the activities here, I've even met people here I know because they are from industries who actually use these types of services. So just for you to know, if you're not just about the trees and the uh, cultivated meat, but you are from an industry that uses this, please understand that you are exposed to fraud beyond what you think using every conceivable means that's now standard on the market. Only such an approach that doesn't look just at the case, but can identify using AI, basically. At the entire traffic, can you see those irregularities coming? Because the single case will be perfect. But when it's fraudster, it's not one, and then you can track those irregularities. And this is what Authentics does. It actually creates a new standard, so to speak, where you have two lines of defense against fraud, identity fraud. The one you know, which looks at the case, at whatever was being sent, and the one that looks at the traffic. Both of them is the, f are the first time there is actually a serious hurdle uh, before professional forces. <laughs> <laughs>